Good morning. <laughs> I'm scared out of my brains right now. I'm about to go into a doctor's appointment. <laughs> First thing on a Monday morning. I'm terrified. I'm getting a skin check, which I've had before. I know they're not scary, but am I still scared? Yeah. I also need a new mental health care plan. Did I hate getting my first mental health care plan? Yeah, I did. So I'm scared for that also. Thirdly, I'm getting my first pap smear, which I'm obviously just naturally very scared of. I know everyone is telling me that there's nothing to be afraid of, but it's just a new thing. So obviously I'm afraid. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> It's just like three big hard things. I know it'll be a long appointment. I know it'll be hard the whole time. But once it's done, it's done. <sighs> I arrived like, oh, cool. 20 minutes early. I've just been sitting in my car like hyping myself up. Has it worked? No. I haven't even had a coffee this morning. It's 10.30, which I would normally have had a coffee by now. But my heart is beating out of my chest. It is racing. So I'm going to reward myself afterwards with a coffee. And I'm going to go over to Pete and Lang's house and have lunch with them. <sighs> I am capable of doing hard things. I think I almost, my brain works better when I expect things to be worse than they are. If I'm like, it's not even gonna hurt at all, and then it hurts, I'll spiral. But if I'm like, it's gonna hurt so bad, and then it doesn't really hurt that much, I'm like, stunning. I will be back here, and hopefully, all I can say is, it wasn't even that bad. Well, would you look at that? That was way easier than I expected. I got a blood test. Also, this was the first blood test I've ever had that hurt, which I don't know what that means. That was maybe one of the best doctor experiences I've ever had in my life. I've really been struggling as an adult finding a doctor, like a GP that I can just like call my own. Obviously growing up, I had a family doctor, but he's like an old man. And I just felt like growing into a woman, I like didn't, I didn't want that. And then moving away from my hometown, moving to the Gold Coast, I've been trying to find a doctor ever since I moved here. First doctor I saw, awful experience. And then the second doctor I saw, I liked enough to see her again today. And seeing her for the second time again today was so good. It was such a great experience. And I think that I'll stick to seeing her if she'll have me. I mainly chose her off the website, like on Hot Doc, how you can like read about all the doctors. I chose her because she's queer. And I was like, surely that's just like a comfortable environment for the both of us. And when we were talking about my mental health care plan and why I was needing it and all the questions that they ask you, I feel like we really bonded over growing up religiously and then coming out. So that was really fun for us and just like made me feel so comfortable and the first doctor I saw when I got my mental health care plan made me feel like I shouldn't be getting therapy, like I didn't need it. And then the doctor I saw today just made me feel so like comfortable and like accepted, I guess. So good. Also, in regards to the pap smear, I knew that this was possible, but I knew that a lot of GPs don't do it. A lot do, but a lot don't. But I did it myself. I don't know what it's called, but it's when they like give you the swab and you just swab yourself instead of the doctor prying you open and swabbing you. And it was such a great experience. I went in there knowing that some GPs don't do it. Um, so I was prepared that if the option wasn't available, I would be getting a pap smear. And that's, I think, what I was most nervous about. But she ran me through it. The instructions were so simple. My sister-in-law is a doctor and she told me that I can't fuck it up. And her opinion is, like, so important. And I'm like, if she's telling me that I can't mess it up, then, like, surely I can't. I also just feel like it wouldn't be a thing if you could mess it up. There's a little red line on the swab. And that's, like, how far it needs to go in. It didn't hurt at all. I couldn't even feel it in there. Swabbed for 30 seconds, stuck it back in the test tube. I went and got my blood test and I handed my swab back to the lady at the blood test. It was literally so easy. So good. Also, she can't do a skin check, which is kind of unfortunate, but I have rebooked for next week with a different doctor who does a skin check. I also bought some more iron. My blood test is to test my iron levels and I haven't been super good at taking my iron recently, so ow, it hurts my hair so bad. Overall, I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling so proud of myself. I feel like I really needed a good doctor experience to like give me this confidence for all of my other future doctor appointments. I feel so good. It was so easy. And I'm so glad. <sighs> I'm gonna go get myself a coffee. Like a reward. filmed, edited, and uploaded a video today. So that's all ready to go live tonight, which feels so good. And so to get away from my screens, I'm gonna have my lunch break and read my book, which I think will be stunning. But that means I have to go through which you food meal I want. I am the most indecisive person ever, but it is kind of stunning that there is no bad option. We have beef lasagna, creamy chicken carbonara, my all-time favorite that I'll most likely choose again today. We've got chicken penne pasta. This 
is so good. I've eaten so many times a week for so many months now and I'm still not sick of it. I did also want to thank you foods for sponsoring this weekly vlog. I really struggle eating food at home and not just ordering takeout. And if you've been around for a while, you know how much I hate grocery shopping. It's the easiest way to make sure that I am sticking to my goals, eating my food at home and looking after myself while doing it. I'm going to put this in the microwave. Lunch is served. Also, if you're new to you foods or you've taken that like 90 day break from having new foods, you can use the code UGR to save $200 off your next five boxes. And I'll leave that code and a link down below if you're interested. Time to sit, eat and read my happiest form. from Beck and Cody's like an hour ago. That's Winston's little footsteps. <laughs> He's got the zoomies at the moment. This was my attire for busy night. This South Street pink track set is a fave. And then obviously slip on vans for comfort. But we had a little taco night at Beck and Cody's. It was so good. It was so good to see Peyton Chi. Gets so big. Every time I see her, she's just growing so much. It actually makes me emotional. I feel like it's just a kind of scary reminder of how fast life moves. <laughs> and I think because we don't see her like every week, it's so much more evident that she is growing. But she's just the cutest little girl ever and it was obviously so good to see Beck and Cody I feel like they're just friends that feel like a second family and I loved it so much But it's 1am. I've just been playing with Winston heaps because he's just been left alone for like five hours So we've been hanging out, but I'm gonna shower and hop into bed because I need to get some sleep A cutie little wholesome beach day with my friend Kate today. It was honestly just the perfect day. The weather was perfect. The water was perfect. I always love seeing Kate. And it was just so good. But I came home. I showered. Packed out my bag. I've been sitting in my car for the last two hours. And I'm almost at Soph's house. Soph, Sam and I are going to watch the World Cup game tonight. Australia versus England. And I'm scared. I don't want to I don't want to like jinx it or go in with a bad attitude, but like I just kind of feel like Australia is not going to win. So we'll see. I'm going to stay the night here tonight as well. And then tomorrow, Soph and I will drive back to the Gold Coast. I love adult sleepovers. If there's one thing about me, it's that I'm always down for a sleepover. I'm very happy and excited about it. Back, so, oh, man, man. Man. The disrespect on <laughs> Come on. Your girl let us down. Who? She hasn't yet. Sam. She hasn't yet. <laughs> You've got to play your opportunities right, you know. She didn't really play the opportunity at all. Let's hop in. Let's hop in. Oh, we're still losing. It's the update. Soph's learning so much about football. No, really? Lucy Bronze! I'm decided that I should just go to bed. But not because... You got of... mad at me for losing hope. You're losing hope. Yeah, you are. No, just to relieve me of like the stress. Go to bed and I'll be numb. I won't even check the scores tomorrow. I'll just, I'll you be just go to work. Yeah, wow. I, I won't know who wins the World Cup. Because Australia, good for them. I wouldn't know. That's a lie. Because I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh. <laughs> We're back. Ah! We get... Shit. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> we lost that girl, baby! Let's go! Oh, oh my god. god! What a goal! Oh my god, why you just sat in a corner? You've been dissing <laughs> Sam Kerr all game. Shut your mouth! I can't believe that just happened. I'm not going to bed, people. <laughs> From halfway, she I took that she was, herself. I thought she was going to kick it to Ola. Yeah. Shots on, girly. Oh! oh. Top left corner, it's just beautiful. Oh, the underdogs are back, baby. Let's go. Oh, oh. Golly's got nothing. <laughs> oh, she absolutely oh, got it. Winston says, Go Matildas. <laughs> just wanted to update. Um, we lost. So, um, the last bit was so, so high energy. Yeah, we really, we really thought we were on something. We're, we're going to bed in morning. Our loss. So, get me. I've just placed an order through the app for Georgia. Yeah, of course, travel on board, darling. Thank, Thank you so you. much. She called me darling. Think it's cause of me. I'm ready 
for my coffee. I got a venti. A bit extreme. A bit unnecessary. But you can't stop me. Sorry to keep you away. No, no, you're so fine. Thank, Thank you so much. Day, you darling. too. Like I'm in love with her, actually. They call me darling one more time. I'm I'm folding. I don't know. The platform. Oh. Whoa. 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 I'm too long. lame for these. Yeah, I'm excited. Up. The outfits you could wow. do. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. I love. It kind of feels like they're like slipping on my heel. Huh. But tied on my toe. Oh. That's so fun. Like I just feel like when you're wearing like a bright or like a bold shoe, it's just instantly like she's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? I I do. <laughs> Look at my new necklace. A little G on it. It's so dainty. I love it. Naked Harvest very kindly gave it to me as a birthday present. So cute. And, we and have now matching. we have matching bracelets. I'm about to get my nails done. So here's a before. I love this design. I love it so much too. Like I'm really sad that it's going. Yeah. But I'm so excited to have them short again. These are way too long for me. I'm going to do as short as possible. One hand. People are going to hate it. You know what? That doesn't matter. Don't matter. One hand, hot pink. One hand, electric blue. Oh, so true. My inspiration. <laughs> I honestly think I'll get these flowers again because they are so fun. And I've never, I mean, not that I'm doing it for the compliments, but I've never had so many people compliment my nails before. They're so nice. And like, they're so, they're so overgrown, like overgrown, outgrown, yeah. but like you can't even tell. You can't tell unless you're looking closely. Yeah. Oh. I know I should stop, but I can't. Ah, oh, it's stuck in my head. Coming down a shot and draw. Stress Have you told them what you're doing? Everyone listening. <laughs> I'm about to go get a tattoo. We rushed to Starbucks to get some sugar. Just in case. I've had like no water today. I'm so excited. Are you nervous? Actually, no. Wow. Have I been nervously picking this pimple? No. I haven't. Don't speak to me about it. It I'm always like shocked at how different they look after a while. Fresh and then healed. Like I remember looking at my oh, shell <laughs> and being like scared that it was so dark. Yeah, now but like, now it's yeah. Take me off the roster. It really hurt. Wow. This hurt more. This side. Interesting. And this, which I thought was interesting. She literally did that so quickly. So quickly. I wonder how long I was sitting on that bed for because I'm so quick. Go off, Queen. I will see you What's again. What's her name? I actually don't know. I loved her. Wait, should I play the song? Wherever you are, we oh, are. Oh, oh, we are. 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 The trio is out again. So this is the game for the bronze medal. We're going to be sitting with the Sweden's teenage friends and family. So we're having to keep our cheery to a, a down. Yeah, or our disappointment to a down. <laughs> yeah. So fingers crossed. Surely. 